Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. It's just a quick thank you to everyone who subscribed because I've reached a thousand subscribers on July the 12th. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Really chuffed with it. If you have, thank you. Okay, hello again everybody. I'm out on the farm today, as you can see. Not a lot about at the minute. There's a few around here when I just arrived. Um, so what I'm going to do is sort of bed myself in in a corner down here for a bit. Keep an eye out around all that tyre pile and everything. There was loads on when I first got here. See if anything comes in. Um, the tyre's about 30 yards away, which is my zero. Yeah, they seem to like landing on it a lot, as you can see by the schmite on it. So we're going to give it a go. Using the impact today, 2-2 with the XI 4K. I was going to use, when I was here last week, there was a pile of uh, builder's bags just round to the right of these red columns. And I threw like a temporary cover over, climbed under there, and I was shooting in all directions. But uh, this week they're gone. So the moment to improvise, just try and dive in amongst all this stuff. They quite like the power lines. So, what I might do if I don't have any luck here for a while, I might sit over them in those uh, tyres because that puts me about 30 yards from the power lines. So, if we can just sort of lay, lay down amongst them keep quiet and don't move and they should come in and nest on the lines um, okay see how I get on speak to you in a bit okay quick zero check there's a little bit of a breeze not much just a slight breeze just pushing it slightly up to the right where I'm zero in I'm using the JSB RS pellets uh, this afternoon uh, 13.4 grain fly faster and slightly flatter than uh, Hades there's the first one in off the wall free-handed him just about getting set up when he arrived second one off top of the tires it's facing away from me so headshot to the back of the head I normally go for the chest from the front uh, because I don't want to hit the beak and probably deflect the shot and injure the bird Next one, you can see me if you just look at him. You can see he's trying to watch me through the grass. I'm on the bipod now. Let's uh, take him with the chest shot. There's a few little weeds in front of it, nothing major. The barrel's mainly poking through him. I'm watching the next one fly around because he's going to land in the top of the tree, which he does nicely. Take him 40 yards, that's the zero, and that's the range of that tree. Next one, I'm just watching one circle, just hoping he'll land. They seem to love that tree. It's, uh, it's the only tree for a few hundred yards around, so they seem to use it as a land there first to have a look to make sure everything's okay. City tree. So it's quite a good place to stake out, that one. Okay, I can hear the chattering, and I've seen at least one land on the other side of that tree like I said it seems to be a favourite tree that one I might have to stake myself out here in winter when the leaves are gone should make things a lot easier because they always seem to land on the other side and if you see that one just fly up then and if you just see there you can just see it through the gap there's two or three in there chattering away I think they're chattering away at the dead ones on the floor that I shot previously but I didn't see him at first when I just arrowed him to you. But uh, I'm just trying to work out, see, waiting for one to come. And I just notice, yeah, hang on a minute. That's a minute. That's definitely one. Yep, pretty sure it is. Have a crack, hit the branch. One flies down. And see him. Take him. So after that I went over and picked up uh, picked up the birds under the tree because they were starting to 
shy away then. They were sort of circling but not coming in once there was about three dead ones on the floor. The next one, I'm just waiting for one on the other side of the tree to appear. Then I notice there's one in the field. So that's at uh, 50 yards, that fence. So I give it the hold over. I'd already been practicing on the stones at his feet for the distance. So that's him taken. And then I notice one of my left shoulder on top of the tyres. I had to swing around and crawl and get round and get the gun over the side of the trailer to get him. The next one, I've seen him land. He's at 40 yards here because he's in line with the tree. But I'm not going to take the shot there because the cow behind, if it misses and hits a stone, it could ricochet up and hit the cow. So I'm just waiting for him to hopefully walk over back to the left. It looks like he's come in. And of course, there's a fence there, so I'm pretty good at hitting fences, and I don't let myself down on that occasion either. So that's one that got away. Now this one, I've only seen it when I've gone back through the views of the video. See the magpie? There? Well, I didn't. Really annoyed I missed that completely. Never noticed it. Would you believe it? So there's a jackdaw on the silage clamp. Take him off. I'm going to have to stake that out a bit better because there's a great place there. Loads of them come and go on the silage clamp there. This one, 55 yards off the wire. Down he goes. That's it. 10. Not a bad afternoon. Okay, if you enjoyed watching that, like, subscribe and share. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye for now.